without a doubt, two of the best programs in the state of Georgia. Peach and Baldwin, they met up tonight for the first time since 2013, and our Shaws Parani was there for the 41 NBC Game of the Week. Shaws. Bill, the Trojans came into this one ranked eighth in the preseason poll in the 3A, while the Braves were hoping for a better season this year with returning quarterback Solomon Burney, who is back for his junior year. And now it's time for your Game of the Week, sponsored by Embrace Me Organics, located in the Macon Flea Market. And here come the Baldwin Braves on their newly renovated, renovated Braves field. The first play from scrimmage for Peach County in the 2022 season. Quarterback Colton Ginn finds Dylan Johnson on the quick slant. And oh my goodness, he's got all the space in the world. And Johnson takes it all the way to the end zone for the 85-yard touchdown. Point after is good and Trojans quickly up 7-0. Second play for Baldwin on their first drive and wide receiver DeAndre Parks can't hold a jet sweep toss. The Trojans end up with the ball inside the five yard line and the next play running back Chris Scott gets a direct snap in the Wildcat and scores the easy touchdown. Point after is good and Trojans up 14-0. However, on the ensuing kickoff, Michael Welsh gets it at the five yard line and he weaves through those Trojans, almost goes down here, but the strong man stays up and he takes it all the way to the house for the 95 yard kickoff return touchdown. What a beautiful play. Point after is no good for the Braves as Trojans lead 14 to six. Next Baldwin drive quarterback Solomon Bernie looking for the screen pass, but that's picked off by Isaiah Mitchell who jumps on it and he goes down inside the 50 yard line. And then a few plays later, Ginn once again launches it up to Johnson for the 29 yard touchdown. Point after no good. Trojans lead 20 to six. Next Beach County drive, once again, Ginn steps back, absolutely launches to the deep ball to Mitchell who hauls it in over the shoulder and takes it to the house. Peach County up 27 to six. And you've seen it over and over again. Ginn once again, right over the shoulder in double coverage. He drops it in the pocket. And later they run it in as Scott gets the handoff for his second touchdown of the night. Trojans convert a two point conversion and go up 35 to six. Following drive for Baldwin, Bernie throws his second interception of the night as the Trojans take over. They do fail to convert anything on that drive. And Baldwin here punting. Ooh, the punter gets hit pretty big, but Trojans take the ball there. Now they've got a shot to throw another touchdown here. And again, once again, finds Skyler over the shoulder. Beautiful tap touch. And they have a chance for the touchdown, but a bad snap here gets by Scott as the ball continues to roll and ends up around the 31 yard line. And then Ginn, who's also the quarterback, he punts it and pins it inside the five. Great punt, man, he's got feel with his hands and his feet, pretty impressive. Now, ball with the ball, a bad snap. Bernie gets swallowed and thrown out of the end zone for the safety as Trojans go up 37 to six. However, final drive of the half for Baldwin, Bernie hits Welsh on the short pass. And he turns on his burners once again and goes deep all the way. Looks like he will get the touchdown, but the Trojans catch up to him and he goes down inside the 10. Last play of the half, Baldwin with the ball. Bernie finds Walsh once again. They score the touchdown. Extra point is good and Baldwin is down 37 to 13 and a half. However, Peach County goes on to win 50 to 20. A great game down in Milledgeville today, Bill. Can't ask for anything else for the Trojans.